And as you know, we are on a mission traveling around, bringing you all kinds of tools and inspiration that help you shed fear, ignite passion, and step into power. So, we're coming to you from the Root Wire Festival out here in Ohio, and I have someone very, very, very special to introduce you to. This is Crystallize. <laughs> and we are standing in front of all of her beautiful creations. <laughs> so, uh, knowing you're out there and knowing you love to see what we're doing, the reason I'm bringing Crystal to the table is because she's got a lot going on that you need to know about here. So first question, Miss Crystal, this is all of your original work. Yes, I have a, I have one original here and I have a variety of prints of introduction. I have seen her a few times come and talk about her work and see them and everyone always flocks. They, they flock to this booth and they're just in awe. And what I really wanted to do today was to bring you a little bit of thought and wisdom and love from an artist herself. So, uh, my first question to you is really what? What's your inspiration behind all this work? What, what is it? It's hard to say what's not. You know, I think that all of life is funneling into each painting. Every experience I've had, every one that I've used, the surrounding environment of where I'm painting. And I'm deeply inspired by looking into the creation itself and seeing all of the intricate fractals of life and interconnectedness that we can perceive as we tune our, our eyes and our hearts into seeing what's weaving it all together. So my paintings are very much about, about that message, that the intricate and infinite interconnectedness of life itself. And that we're all a part of that mosaic, that kaleidoscope. And I'm hearing that in my heart, and it's being here back to me. And it's this constant evolutionary dance of the reflection and the reflected and the wisdom and the and, and teachings that I am able to so what if you what if you lies to would the title of evolutionary artist be appropriate for you then? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, you know, I feel that's really what speaks to the essence of why I create art in the first place. It's much more than just um, something that's fun, right? You know, which is a huge part of it too. But a huge part of why I'm creating the artwork is to bring forth a greater awakening of it. Because I believe that some of the ways of seeing just how connected we are has gotten faded in the world that can feel so suffering. And so it's an important purpose behind my work is to really remind people of that, of that oneness at the heart of life itself and that we're all a part of that. We all have an intricate facet of life that we're reflecting in our lives, reflecting to each other the beauty of divinity. I hope you can hear us out there. We've got a whole big concert going on in the back and, and all of this. But one thing that I really feel when I'm looking at your, your art is it almost is like a, a portal taking me somewhere. And I watch. I watch a lot of people walk by in it. I don't know if you can feel this. There's so much going on. I'll zoom in on it later so you can check it out. But my question to you is really what, what's your purpose going to be? I mean, we're getting into that a little bit. But Go into that a little bit more for me. It's not like one day, one day, like this. Since I was a child, I always knew that I was a person. It was something that I just I feel blessed that I figured it out, you know. But what I believe in my heart of hearts is that everyone in the world has their own unique creative capacity, and so. Part of my grand purpose as an artist is to help reignite that creative expression in others so that they can come in closer touch with that which is their unique expression of their soul. And, you know, both through the paintings that I paint and also the act of performance painting, it's a way of showing people that art is 
a process. It's not a final product. Can you, can you explain a little bit more to my audience out there what performance painting is? Because I know a lot of people have never been to a festival like this, and this is. I mean, you're you're wearing your art, right? <laughs> it's a walking art piece. This woman is magnificent to just be around. What what do you mean by performance art? So, performance painting is a, a beautiful way that the creative expression is being used in times of a classical environment. So, rather than there just being a concert, music, and you know, an audience and all the work, and it's more of this participatory experience where artists come out, bring their canvas, set up on the side of the stage, set up on the stage, or in the art gallery, or even just in a place that in inspires them in the environment of the festival yeah. and are showing to people the, their process of how they create their artwork. And this can call, you know, that, or that can be mirrored into all different things. It doesn't have to just be painting, but live painting has become really a cultural movement in the time that I've been performing at festivals. I'm watching it. Mag magnetically just keep growing and cultivating more energy for people that want to be engaged in that way, right? In the festival and sharing their, their gift or their offering or just having fun creating with friends. And that's a huge piece of a lot of artists can feel almost like maybe even isolated in their studio. You know, it's a, right? a blessing and a the curse of the artist to want to really go deep into our artwork in these ways, but it's a very you know, an open, set, creative atmosphere here that people can create together and share what they're working on and, um, and engage other people in that process as well. Talk about the painting. The painting I started this weekend, I like this could be the beginning of years of work. Yeah, I don't necessarily plan on finishing the painting at the festival. Yeah. It would be great if I could figure out how to do that <laughs> But it's not about that. It's about the process and the enjoyment of that process every step of the way. And other people getting to see the window. Into that. So, um, um, now, I guess I want to, I guess I'd love to ask you next. I have a lot of people out there who are dabbling with their passions or keeping them in the back of as an artist yourself, do you have any a, any kind of as an embodied artist? I'm like, oh, I I I <laughs> I can't tell you enough how moving this work is. Um, what message would you send to the people out there? I mean, what What would you tell them? We're on this mission about igniting passion and shedding fear and really stepping into that power. So much of why I wanted to be my camera because to me you're doing all of that. So what would you tell anyone out there listening that's just, uh, what's your message to them? <laughs> well, ultimately, I believe that inspiration is what keeps the world spinning around. That before anything, anything in this world exists, it's preceded by an idea, a thought, uh, an uh, essence that wants to come out into being. So I just encourage everyone, whatever shape it takes, to move your energy. Yes! Dance your dance, yes, do dance it. your painting, <laughs> play your songs, make your music, and the music of your soul, whatever form that that takes. You know, it's not about turning everyone into a painter. The world had all just painters. It might not work. But everyone has a unique flavor of their creative essence, and that is something that we all have. And it is a gift to us from our soul. And so the more that we can embrace that, and really ultimately, don't fear what you can create. Don't fear your power. Don't, don't ever diminish yourself because you think that you may not be good enough or that there are other people doing what you want to do and maybe you don't have a place in that. Whatever it is that your soul is telling you to do, embrace that and move towards it. And every step that you're taking is getting you closer and closer to that that realization. It is the realization of your being, of your beingness, of just authentically being who you are and not having to fit into the, the cookie cutter placement of where 
society or other people think of it, but being true to your heart. And that will only take you to amazing places of evolution and growth and connection with the places and kinds of people that you want to be around. And so the more that we can keep doing that, shutting off all the stuff that we've had projected on us or you know, molded us into a very defined thing, to keep allowing opening to humans and to the expression, the unique expression that we have. So, <laughs> Thank you. Of it is such an honor to have you here and to share you with my audience out there. So if you're watching and want to follow Crystal, what's the best way that they can follow what you're doing right now? Well, my artist name is Crystal Eyes, and I can spell that. Yeah, go for it. K R Y S T L E Y E Z. And you can find me on social media. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Um, I have a website that I teach about sacred geometry, um, which is something else. That right. There, there's there's so, so much more to this woman you want to know. But, we'll have to have um, you back for interview part two. I would love it. <laughs> <laughs> it means I get to hang out with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm grateful to be able to connect and share with my, my crystal mirror. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you so much yeah. for taking the time to, to share here and to help share this, this vision as well. It's much faster than what we can even comprehend, really. The healing that is so for us all to evolve to to ourselves and evolve our communities and make yes. the magic that we want to see in the world. We're doing so. it. We're out here. Come join us. <laughs> so from our hearts to yours, we wish you a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, magical, magical moment. See you soon. <laughs> I will wait, 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 I will wait,